Hello and welcome back to Tharic Plays Blood Bowl 2. Today we're going to play our first match with the orcs. So you wanted me to play orcs, so that's what we'll do. And if you haven't watched the team creation video, I recommend that you do. Even if it's just for the horrible and bad puns. Uh, let's go over the team composition real quick once again before we get into a match. Um, Cyanide, for some reason, decided to change the orc team a little bit, so I can't get the setup that I usually would be able to, because they raised the prices of the blitzers from 80 to 90k. And so our team composition is four blitzers, one thrower, three linemen, and three black orcs. Also, three rerolls. Um, usually, before that change, you would have been able to get the fourth Black Orc right away instead of a third lineman. Uh, but that's not possible that way, and I do want three rerolls and as much block as possible, so we are short on one strength four player, but that is fine. So let's ch join a league. We'll take the uh, Cable Vision official league, um, not the World Cup ladder. It's not likely that I will be able to uh, do enough matches there, unfortunately. And we'll take the free ladder as well, I think. I don't know if I want to play in the veteran ladder. I need to look into that at some point. I probably should get there, but not with the orcs, I think. Um, because I think there will be better players in there, maybe. But I think most players are still playing in the free ladder, so that's our best bet here. Okay. And I should mention once again that I take no responsibility because of any injuries you get thanks to the terrible punts. <laughs> and I think I've milked that quite enough now, so let's not do that anymore. The question is, who are we going to play against now? Uh, yeah. We'll see. And I'm thinking that I'm probably going to do two or three matches with the orcs uh, right away. So there will be a bit more orcs uh, in these next one or two weeks. And then we'll... F I'll need to figure out a rotation system uh, at some point. So either I'm going to just play one match with each team, so first Lizardmen, then Skaven, then Orcs, and repeat. Or we could alternate so that we uh, play Orcs every week and Skaven and Lizard Lizardmen every other week, or whatever else combination there's, uh, it's possible there. I'm not sure yet. Um, it depends. Maybe I'll just go by mood and play whatever I want. <laughs> But I think I should implement some sort of system. And at the moment, we're not getting very lucky. Okay, I wanted to cancel. Oh, okay. So we, I was wanted to try to avoid to get a high team value team there. But that's no concern, apparently. So we're playing against Dwarves, a fresh Dwarf team, apparently. Uh, two Blitzers, two, two Troll Slayers, a Runner... And the rest are long beards. How many rerolls? Three. And one assistant coach. Okay. So that could be interesting. Um, they have more block. Tackle is no concern in this case. We don't have dodge. We have higher strength. They have dauntless. Yeah, this is interesting. Uh, it's a match of the bash. And... As I've said in during the team creation video, I basically have no um, experience playing with orcs. So we'll see how well I can perform here. <clears throat> uh, I would like to go on offense. And if we're playing a bash team, I will lean into the bash as much as possible, I think. 
So I'm not going to be too greedy, but uh, things like stalling out turns so that we can score later might occur. I usually don't do that, but with the orcs I might. Okay, our opponent's name is N Test. I know, and it's Nains, Nines, whatever, capable, the team. Um, I'm not sure about the pronunciation of that first word there and his name. So, Dwarves. He set up really aggressively. We might make use of that, maybe. We'll see. So where is our thrower? He's back here. And he's just horribly slow. Okay, we should try to make use of our blitzers as much as possible, so we'll block with them. And if we get those... Yeah, I think that should work out somewhat. Oh, it's his second match? Okay, uh, that could end um, pretty rapidly. And I am going to deploy really aggressively, what I usually don't do. But I think it's the right call in this regard. Um, we cannot muscle him if it comes down to that. And I want to have some nice block options here. And we'll keep our... We'll keep Fork back here. Uh, yep. Confirm. And I did set up the throw a little bit further back, because he's really slow. And we want to reach the ball. Oh, raining, interesting. And that was a really short pass there. So let's start by securing the ball as much as possible. And let's see how these first blocks work out. And I'm not sure if I want to follow yet by it. I think I want to. If I can if we cannot muscle them, that would be perfect. And we'll just focus on blocking our way down the line right now. At least with the blitzes first, and then we'll see how things work out. Uh, here I won't follow, because um, we are moving down the pitch this side, so we don't want to um, bind up too many players on that uh, side of the pitch. Oh wow, so far the blocks are really working. That's really nice. Oh, first stun of the match. It's unlikely that we get too many injuries out of this first match because orcs, um, dwarves are just super tanky. But you'll never know, so we'll have to wait and see. Um, let's move first, though. So now I would like to blitz, I think. So let's put water there, and then we'll blitz with Orchidinal. So blitz without block, unfortunately, but it should work out fine. Yep, nice. And we can set up a potential surf there. It I might be a bit hard on that guy if it's his first match, but oh uh, well. Um, we'll... I still can't downplay here, I think. So, I would like to get a warrior over there, so we need to do this block first. Otherwise, we won't be able to reach. And... Yeah, let's put Orxidy here as well. Or maybe not. Let's let's move him back. And I'm really happy with the 
uh, I'm still really happy with the um, jersey choice here, the blue checkered. Uh, I think that looks pretty nice. The alternative would have been the, the striped tiger or what it was called. The other one out of the shop that cost 40, that wasn't gouged eye. Um, but I like the, the uh, light blue and white contrast in, to the green skins. Oh boy, he shouldn't do a one die splits. Yeah, if it's really his second match, this might be an easy win. We'll never know. But he could have gotten the assist first and then uh, blitzed. Let's find out if he, uh, try to find out if he played some offline matches, maybe. Uh, not that I'm a big fan of the campaign, to be honest. But, uh, it does teach some basics. So at least there's that. And even if he keeps on doing one dice blocks, they might work out for him. As they do now. Of course, some will fail but he still might get the lucky hit in. As he did right now. So we should... We still need to be careful and move in a cautious manner. And the rain might make it difficult to pick up the ball. It will be a 4 plus... 5? Four, 4 plus roll, I think. Okay, um, we could do this and surf him. I don't have any blitzers free right now. Yeah, we don't get any assists. We do have the strength value. But without blocks, so I need to think. So what we probably want to do is try and protect the ball as much as possible. So let's do this blitz first. Okay, that did not work as planned, unfortunately. Oh boy, yeah, I don't like this. Let's try to surf here first. Okay, that worked, so we at least have the player advantage. Okay, it's the second match overall. No game on local. Um, <laughs> I don't know if he has any Blood Bowl ex prior or Blood Bowl experience. Uh, sounds like he doesn't. But, I don't know. Okay, so how can we turn this into something we can work with here? We probably can't that easily. Let's move water over this way. Yeah, let's let's do some more blocks first here, or at least one and see if uh, th if th how things look after that. Um, I think I don't like the Troll Slayer. Well, just pushing, but that's okay. Let's stay after this one. Now we're going to try and pick up the ball first. Okay, thank you. Okay, it was a 4 plus because of the rain. Um, and now I am running out of time. So we'll do this one. That will follow, just to bind things up, so that way we get the two dice here. Oh, double skulls. Not what I want to see. Let's push and stay in this one. And I want to dodge here. Thank you. Let's do this and... We don't need help from the back, so let's move Fork up there as well. I 
Okay, no real cage here, of course, but I think we are in a pretty solid situation. Four of the dwarves are pretty far off. And he... Oh, wow. Uh, so this game is going to be weird because he keeps doing strange stuff. Probably because he doesn't know any better. And he gets two dice against blocks that look like this. So, yeah. <laughs> That's weird. So this is pretty unpredictable, and he basically has the best team to do stuff like that with, because everyone has... Oh, but he does know that an attacker down is bad. Okay. Um, because basically every player except his runner... Oh, he has 12 players. I didn't notice that until now. Um has block, so even if he does one dice blocks or two dice against blocks, odds are he still can get an okay result um, most of the time, because in the one dice it's a one in six chance that he gets the bad one. And, oh, wow. <laughs> I'm not a fan of what is happening right now. We are getting a bit cornered because he keeps getting the rolls? I don't know. We'll have to wait and see how this turns out. It's a bit weird at the moment, and as I've said, I don't have that much experience with orcs and bash teams, so things are a bit unusual for me. He has not blitzed yet, but he really can't. Push us back here, probably. I don't know. Yeah, not the the start I was I was I was hoping for here. Nope. So we need to do this. Yeah, these are just really weird right now. <clears throat> um, do I have some decent blocks here? Nope. Okay, so let's try this one first. Worked, thank you. We need to follow. So this is now a two dice. And I will still have to do a lot of blocks without having block players available, unfortunately. There's not really that much we can do about that. And I will blitz here instead of block. For once it makes this safer. Oh, it's his runner. Um, so we can do this, actually. And also it will allow us to move up Orc City. At least a little bit. And that way we can move up, um, Wasted here. So we've got this small sideline stuff going on, basically. Let's move warrior there. Let's do this one. It does cost me one block to do it like this, but it does free up Wasabi. <laughs> I still like that name. And that allows us to mark uh, his blitzer there. Otherwise he could have gotten the assist. And it closes up this lane here for this guy to move through. So, that's really good. It might be his his second match overall. 
but that doesn't mean that he doesn't understand the tactics involved. So I'm playing on the uh, I'm playing on the assumption that he knows at least somewhat what he's doing, even though that is going to be a two dice against now. But he keeps getting these results. <laughs> what? That is so weird. That is super weird. Okay. Yeah, this is just super strange. And it does actually make things a lot harder right now. Because we are on the sideline and stuff like that. That is not good. I should have put him somewhere else. Oh boy. So I need to get out of this situation. I mean, that's not impossible. Uh, but we'll have to do some strange blocks here. And we are in turn his turn three. And he, even though he made a lot of strange calls, he actually didn't have a turnover yet. And he had to use one reroll in total, so that tells you how um, beginner-friendly the dwarves are. <laughs> so is he trying to dodge now? No, he doesn't need to. Okay. He's even doing more going for it, and he keeps getting them. Okay. So basically, what this comes down to right now is... Oh, maybe like this? Nope, that's so... Why is that a one dice? Because I don't get an assist, actually. Okay. Uh, makes sense. You are a lineman. You are a lineman. You are a lineman, so it doesn't really matter. So we might as well block with him. And that's a reroll. Okay, thank you. Oh boy. Um, not doing as well as I hoped at the moment. Let's follow. Okay, now we can get the assist and let's move you over there um. and we'll use the blitz to for one, get rid of the blitzer and block this line of approach here. I will stay. And then we'll move down there. And now we just have to work our way through the uh, blocks here. Okay, let's start with this one. It's block one. Stay, please. Uh, gives us a little bit more movement options as well. So let's put him there. And I think we should be fine now, most likely. I mean, these blocks might still fail right now, of course, but uh, I don't think he can reach the ball anymore. Okay, even more pushes. And we need to follow that. Oh, didn't want to do that. And let's let's test my, my luck, or not. Let's do this two dice. Nope, that's one dice. Why? Oh yeah, we get... So this should be two dice. Okay, just pushing, and uh, let's stay. Let's test this out. I'm doing one dice. Uh, could have been worse. And it doesn't really matter too much. Okay. 
and turn. And he failed his Dauntless, so that's the two dice against, and he needs to use a reroll. At least he only gets to push me. And now we can try again. This time he does get the Dauntless. And that's good enough. He does have block. We don't. But this is a pretty weird game so far. His position is actually not that bad, and if he really suffers from a lack of experience, he's still doing an okay job. He needs to consider stuff like um, like assists and so on and so forth, but his actual positioning isn't that bad when he gets to move his players. That's why I'm having trouble to begin with. That and his, um, his above average uh, one dice and two dice against stuff like that. Yeah, he's looking for a way to go get the ball but he really can't, or most likely can't. So, yeah, he left the Blitzer off. That's actually not the right choice. He either should have left a Longbeard. Oh, really, he rolled two sixes for that. That's okay. <laughs> Holy crap. What, what's happening right now? Oh, yeah, he, I'm actually stupid, and I keep forgetting stuff. He does not have 12 players, and that guy is not in reserve. That guy was served. <laughs> I forgot that already. Yeah, and now he got punished. So he rolled a 1 and stunned himself, because agility 2 dwarves shouldn't dodge. They can, of course, but it's really hard. And we'll play the safety card as much as possible. So the important stuff first. We'll blitz him and then follow. I could score, but as I've said, I won't. We'll take our time here. That does give us the assist. Okay. Unfortunate, but not that big of a deal. And I should be able to get at least one more two dice here. Nope. Yeah, that guy is not bound. So this is one, so we might as well block here first. Perfect. And Follow, please. Even one injury would be really nice to get. I still doubt that it will happen. But you never know. Um, yeah, we need to push. And unfortunately... I shouldn't. Because then he could serve me. So we need to... Uh, he, I should have done that. Now I can serve this guy even easier. So let's try to move him away from there. Thank you. This is still a one dice. Yeah, these won't change. Um, so let's do this last one down there again. And let's push him and actually stay. That Lyman is so slow, he might re-engage, but he might not. So... I think we're okay there. He might try to get the assist over here. He doesn't. He gets a one dice again. <laughs> I think he hasn't rolled a single def attacker down with all of his one dice blocks so far. And he's, he still had to use up only two rerolls at the moment. I don't know. And I had to use two as well. One for a double skull and one for a attacker down, both down uh, result. <laughs> That's... It's... If he actually had more experience, I probably would be in a lot of trouble right now. 
but the game is just extremely unpredictable the way things are and he hasn't failed a single going for it yet yeah that's the two dice he should follow that I think and he should have pushed us there Okay, he is not, though. Still two dice against, and that's his last reroll gone, as long as he takes it. He does not. <clears throat> okay. Let's see that again. Stand up, please. Then we'll run away even further. The lineman needs to stand up. And I'm putting Wasabi here because we're going to blitz now. And if we still fail, he will still be in the way. But we want to push him away from um, our ball carrier, of course. Um, and now I'm doing this so that it's a two dice always and not just the one dice and we're going to move like this to block his line of approach a little bit better okay they are both down right now so we might as well put warrior over there we can stand up fork I still don't like this setup too much you know what, let's do this block first, and then we have a little bit more options, maybe. Oh. Come on, one KO or injury would be awesome. Uh, we actually don't, though, because I moved. But that's not that big of a problem. Let's just put him down there. I just don't want to, av I j I want to avoid being served down there. So we do have Awakening. Let's move him up this way. And then we can also... You know what, let's focus on this guy. He could move, he could get the assist here of course, but the Longbeard has a very limited range of movement. Their movement allowance 4, and standing up, that reduces their movement by 3. So, yeah. Okay, that's actually going to be a 2 dice if he gets Dauntless again. He does. It doesn't really open any options for him. But still. And if it were any other team than Dwarfs, and he had that uh, lack of experience, he, he would have be he would be punished a lot more, I think, for for his playstyle here. These blocks are fine now, perfectly fine, but he made a lot of weird blocks uh, that would have cost him dearly if he uh, didn't have block on every player, basically. Uh, what we have to consider. Oh, that's a lineman, yep. <laughs> Stunned. Is that he gets an 8th turn after we score. What? Seriously. That's getting a bit strange. Holy crap, that was his third? Both defender down roll on a two dice against block, wasn't it? That's... I don't even know the odds for that, but that's just strange, and he should have stood those two up. Okay, no matter what he does, he can't really reach me. Let's just make sure that this is a certainty. But he also did a good job to reduce the amount of 
blocks we can get. <clears throat> so that's a small concern we need to have, or it, it's no concern really, but it will make things a little bit more difficult. Oh, come on. Difficult is not even the right word. It, it, it gives us less opportunity to bash. That's what it comes down to. And I'm going for the Troll Slayer. They have armor value 8. So they are at least a little bit less uh, sturdy. Now let's go there. So then we can do this one. And that's another double skull. There goes our last reroll. It, may, it, it, it should be the last one we need. But still. And we'll not follow. Oh, too bad. I got excited. Um, because we will just score next turn then. And let's just make sure that he doesn't get any good blocks here as well. And he literally can't reach us. So that's pretty perfect. So, I was planning a lot of stuff and even and I still go down to zero rerolls and he did a ton of one dice and two dice against and he still has one reroll left. <laughs> yeah, this is, I don't know, I've, I think I've said enough on that topic. He could still get a good two dice here if he got the right assists. Okay. That doesn't work, it's still a one dice. He still gets it. Not a single attacker down to be seen. Yeah. Works again. And he's stunned. Okay, yeah, that's not a problem. As long as he doesn't get a KO or an injury, we're fine. And I'm really hoping that we can get enough money out of this match that I can buy the Apothecary. We are really sturdy, we have a lot of ammo value, but... Uh, that means that every loss still hurts. Or we, we feel that pretty big, I think. So we have to make sure that we have the Apothecary to save players. Okay, and it's still the first half. So what I'm going to do is just put every lineman that we have on the line. And then we'll move everyone back so that he gets his three blocks and maybe a blitz. But he can go only for the lineman. like that. Okay. So, lineman, lineman, and lineman. But we are in the lead right now. And let me actually check this. Runner does have sure hands as well on the dwarves. Okay. So, if the weather is keeps being pouring rain, uh, it will also be a 4+. plus for him, but it's a 4 plus with an automatic reroll, so it's a 75% chance, I think. Okay, we get the blitz, but I can't really do anything with that. And that's just the risk you take by putting every player back. You basically waste the blitz opportunity, but um, it's a pretty slim opportunity. So, yeah, it's just what it is.
And he's pretty likely to get all of these. Not much we can do about it. And it wouldn't have helped to put the Black Ox there with their higher strength. Because he does have Dauntless, so we can negate that. And so I think the, the linemen are our best bets to, to put on the line there. Okay, yeah, so that's everything. He can still go for a pass if he wants to. Move down there. But he does know that he needs to move first and then throw. That's a mistake I made <laughs> earlier. Or not earlier, but I don't know, 20 matches ago or somewhere I think it happened. Okay, he still fails the pickup or the catch. And that means halftime. And now we'll set up again. And I think I do know how to, or I know how I want to set up. I will still leave the linemen on the line of scrimmage because of the, um, because of the troll slayers. And then we can set up like this, I think. Or do we, yeah, let's, let's set up differently. So we we'll put we don't need to close the sidelines I think because dwarves are just really slow. So we go for block on the sides and aside from that black orcs for the higher strength the higher strength value. And then two blitzers and the thrower back there. We might as well move these two up one space. It's unlikely that they get blitzed, and that way we can react a little bit better to what he will or might throw at us. And we might as well do this with our thrower as well. And if we can, I would like to get him another touchdown, so that we can get a second skill on him as fast as possible. We do need to try and uh, spread the, um, the, the touchdowns a little bit. Uh, the best we can do is put them on blitzers, maybe. So we should try that if we get the opportunity. But getting a block or some other skill on the thrower first would be really nice. And it's unlikely that I'm going to use him for throwing a lot, because orcs are not a throwing team. It's named a thrower, but um, I won't use him as such a lot. Most likely. If we get an agility plus on a blitzer or something like that, that could be good. And he would be a good target to throw to. But other than that, we usually shouldn't rely on that. He will get good blocks here. That's just what we um, risked here by just setting three guys there. But I, with the Dauntless, he could have gotten even more blocks. Yeah, it's a bit weird. So Riot, both teams lose a turn. Um, more of a problem for him at the moment than for me. Uh, as he is in under pressure to score and he actually blocked wrong there. He should have blocked with this one. He still got it because that's... Uh, what the hell? So the game is trying to tell me something here for whatever reason. I don't know why. Maybe I... Blood Bowl doesn't want me to play bash teams and is telling me to not do that. <laughs> I don't know. He should have blitzed before he tried the pickup. I mean, it's fine, and he's going to form a cage now, I assume. Oh, what? Nope. He wants to move that guy and not pass. Yeah. And we now need to find a way to break in there, and he should not do something like this. It keeps working, though. But that's also why I put these guys right behind that in case he did that and followed up, which he needs to with Frenzy, he's forced to. We get a block out of this. He can't prevent that.
we won't be able to get a blitz on his ball carrier, I assume, but uh, that's fine. Okay, he does do stuff like this, which is interesting. Not bad, that's it's just... It's a weird mix of he's making decent choices with his players, like this. Moving up this guy again is a good choice. Here would be better, I think, but still. And doing one dice blocks, and so it's just the weird combination that makes this so unpredictable, because I really can't tell what he's going to do and what will work or not, because so far... Basically, everything he's tried has worked in some regard. Okay, let's move you there. Then this becomes a two dice. Okay, so... We could get a player on him, and I could get a one die splits even, but I don't know if I want to do that, to be honest. Um, it's probably better if we try to play to our strengths. First, I will mark him, if I can, with this blitzer, but I will not blitz him, because that is a one dice I don't want to do. And we actually can't get an assist here, unfortunately. That's too bad. Let's see, so we need to put Orkigenal right there. Then I can blitz with a walkening. Okay, only pushing. Yeah, let's just leave them there. We need to move warrior over that way let's see how this works and where do we want to go with orchid uh, probably back here and here I think and I don't like this one dice, so I'm not going to do it. It's with no block against block. I could have gotten the assist if I had gone for this longbeard and gotten the block. That was a blitz. Okay, so that is gone. So he shouldn't move too much. He can get some good blocks here. Oh, this is actually going to be chain push. So how is he going to push me? Oh, he's helping me in that regard. He still gets the block, though. Holy crap. This is just really weird to handle for some reason. Because usually the dice would, would punish behavior like that, but he keeps getting it. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, and now he's actually switching sides. We still have um, a walk winner here. And maybe we can get um, Wasabi free. Oh no, he will follow, so we won't be able to get him free. Oh no. Yeah, still stands. I did not... Okay, so... This is a problem. Or could very well become one. We're pretty, pretty outbashed here unfortunately, at the moment. Oh, finally he fails the roll again.
Okay, let's see. Orcan just set up. Fork and water as well. Yeah, this is a bit weird. We can get this. We need to move first. That's a must for us. We need to move players in to block. Um, okay, that's a one dice. If we move him there, that will be a two dice. If I choose to take the block, this is a one dice that we can get up. If I block here and we succeed, we get Orchid free to go after this guy. I don't know, this is super strange. Um, these are all bad and won't get better because I can't get assists, so we might as well stand up Wasabi. Let's do this block though. Okay, thank you. Um, but I will stay and not follow. Makes this one a two dice. Yeah, I'm, I'm blocking myself here pretty brutally, but that's fine, I think. We just need to slow him down. Oh, just a stun? It's okay, though. And I still have my Blitz. Um, the problem is I don't really have a good target for Blitzing. I mean... Nope. This is a one dice. If I had followed up... Yeah, I'm wasting my blitz here now. I won't blitz. Um, we'll just block him. I misplayed a little bit here. I probably should have just followed up with, with the black orc. Uh, I don't know. This is where things are getting a bit weir iffy at me for at the moment. And he... Okay, that's fine for a change. I have block as well. That works, though. The question is, can he make any headway? Oh, he pushes now only for a change. That's... That's good. Yeah, this is obviously a two dice for him, without a question. Um, the question is, where will he blitz and how will that result look? <laughs> That's the problem right now. Yeah, this is a one dice if he blitzes. If he hadn't followed up, he could have gotten a two dice, maybe. Yeah, no, he couldn't have, I think. But he could have blitzed with his um, troll slayer, and that would have made it a two dice with Dauntless. So one assist here, and then like that. Okay, one dice, and he gets it again. Nice. Okay, he stunned us. Um, our thrower is actually the only player with armor value 8 that we have. So he might try to move down again this way. I don't know if he will. <laughs> I don't know anything about what he does and what he will succeed with and not. So far, well, looks like he might just want to stay back and not move up the pitch. 
but we could force him on the sideline even further now. Um, I won't be able to reach his ball carrier this turn, I think. But that's not too big of a deal right now. Let's put Warrior there, and then we can Blitz with Awakening against his Longbeard here. Um, let's push him back. Yeah, these are all a bit strange. So these are all linemen. Um, except for him. Yeah, let's just try to bash as much as pos possible, possible right now. So this will now be a two dice. And if we can get that one, this one will be a two dice, and so on and so forth. <clears throat> and this one is actually fairly safe with block. Really nice. Okay, every stun is good. And here we could do some shenanigans with chain pushes. And I think I will try. I just want to push his Troll Slayer away that he has to blitz with him. Or we could do this one and be next to the ball carrier. Yeah, let's do that. It's, it's more fun. <laughs> he basically gets the assists right away to, to deal with him again. But uh, still, we've put a player next to his ball carrier, and we are um, pushing him very hard on the sideline at the moment. So this might still work out. Good enough. Also means this guy does not move. As does the Blitzer. Don't you dare do something to Wasabi. This could have gone really bad. Oh, wow. Yeah, it's probably the right move in this case. He needs to get rid, uh, away from the sideline. He also needs to stand up his guys first and then do stuff like this. Oh, he's not following. That's actually good. That does free up um, Orkan. And if we get the ball, we might be able to pass it to him. <laughs> That's a situation where I need to pass, probably. I don't know. First, we need to get the ball, and then we'll have to see if we can do something with it. I could also just get the assist over there. Oh. I don't know if we can do something with this. The way he set up there. Probably not. But I need to double check. I do have an idea though. Involves a few chain pushes. Let's put Wasted there first so that we can do this block. There and stay for now. So then we need 
to put you there. It's still a one dice because of this guy. So let's do this. That allows me to get a two dice block. And with a push, we can push him closer to him. Oh, thank you. Finally, we got a KO. It's just really hard to do stuff like that against or uh, against dwarves. They can take so much uh, punishment. And let's actually do some more chain push stuff first. So this, if that works, yeah, not completely, but good enough. We can push our black orc closer and into a better position and then we'll just make sure that he can't get decent blocks there I mean this will be the risky action of course but I want to try this now we have block he does not let's see how the going for its go okay and we get it I feel like I deserve that and even though the scatter will probably be pretty weird, let's push him there and follow. We want to put him next to all of our players. Okay, so the scatter is could be worse. We might be able to work with that because uh, Wasted is right there. And if we can get rid of these players, we might be able to reach the ball. We'll see. Let's just see what he does now. Starts us off with a one dice. Does he push us onto the ball? He does not. But he does have four tackle zones on the ball himself. So, yeah, picking it up is pretty unlikely. <laughs> we'll see. Oh, come on. The one time he does another two dice against, he, he, he gets it again. Okay, he KO'd Fork. So it's 10 against 10 again. Yeah, he he's going for the one dice again, and he gets them. It's just not something you can plan with, really, um, in my opinion. But this guy will be pushed onto the ball. Okay. There's nowhere else he can be pushed, so where does the scatter go? Oh, when you re-roll that, the six. Another six catch. Yep, this keeps on going. At some point, someone will roll a six to catch this ball. That was a five he needed. Oh, come on. What the hell? <laughs> yeah, I don't think I've seen... Yep, there it is. There's the six. I don't think I've ever seen that many scatters without a catch. But he has the ball again, so that's not nice. Oh boy. Um. Let's see. I do have an idea though. We'll have to wait and see how... how that works out. It might not. But we'll do this one first. So this shouldn't be a two dice, yep. I think we might as well just stand him up. 
What I will do is block with Warrior. Because, yep, that's just how these are going. Okay, thank you. That way we can push him there. Oh, can I reach with you? One, two, three, four, five. Nope, not good enough, unfortunately. So we still need to do this one. It's a two dice block, which I like. Okay, and I need to decide where I want to push again. Yeah, let's push in that direction, probably. And follow as well. The scatter will most likely be very weird again. Okay, that's actually fine. This is only a one dice, unfortunately. So let's not try to pick up the ball, but make things a little bit better for us. Um. And back there, and also follow. Okay, and this is a one dice, a one dice, and a one dice. So I don't really like doing these as well as this one. We could try to dodge, but I already had to use my reroll here. So let's just end our turn. We're in a better position for the ball. We have two tackle zones on it. Yep, and then he just goes for the one dice right away and gets it. <laughs> oh boy. Oh, that was a mistake. That's a 6 plus dodge. Uh, okay, another one. So he finally gets punished for the mistake there. Um, the problem is... Okay, it was a misclick. The problem is we have only two turns left, or it's not a problem, because we are still winning, but um, this is not an easy roll, but we probably still should focus on this and see if we can get it. Come on, please. Nope. So to make this a little bit better, I probably should have moved the player into touchdown range first and then tried it. So this basically means we will win one to nothing. And let's just hope that we don't kill each other in the last turns. I mean, it, it's, it still was a fun match. It was highly unpredictable and really weird. Um, but still, <laughs> it was fun somehow. Um, and we got a decent start with the, with the orcs here. No level up, unfortunately. But, oh well. It is how it is. He gets it, and it works again for him. I think he hasn't failed a single two dice against roll. And he made several. Or he maybe failed one. I don't know. Yeah, we physically can't make this. I might try some, sh some shenanigans here, but I... I need to think about if I can do that. What we need we need to do is chain push him two spaces so that we can, in theory, get to the touchdown zone. Um, but that would include a lot of blocks, and I don't know if we can physically get them. Okay, so that answers that question. <laughs> I mean, he can do that if he wants to. It doesn't change that much. We can still try to get a pass, though, and that we should do. But we don't have... Uh, we don't have a reroll anymore, so it's pretty unlikely to work. Um...
Yeah, these are weird. Uh, let's see. I should probably blitz as a first action here. Just because it would be the safest thing to do with a player that has block. So let's blitz with Orkan. Oh yeah, third, third time. <laughs> okay, it happens. I uh, we still won, so it's fine. Okay, who gets the MVP? Oh, perfect. We rolled a five and get enough winnings to get the apothecary right away. And Orkan got the MVP. Okay, that's good. So, let's go back. And buy the Apothecary. So now we're at a team value of 1060. One fan factor and 50 for the Apothecary. But that was our first match with the Orcs, so we're off to a decent start, I think, and I'm looking forward to the next ones. And I think I will play one or two more matches with them before we get back to the Lizardmen and Skaven, and I need to figure out the rotation. So if you have um, a preferred way of how I would deal with the uh, new team and how to play every match, so um, just a rotation or one every other week, um, just let me know. That's what it comes down to. Uh, and we'll, we'll figure it out. So, I hope you enjoyed this match. If you did, please leave a like and a comment. And if you want to see me play more Blood Bowl, just subscribe if you haven't already. I would really appreciate it. And you can also follow me on Twitter. And as always, thanks for watching. I hope that you tune in next time, and have a nice day. Bye.